first lunge row is a posterior oblique sling strengthening exercise. So it's gonna activate the lat to the opposite glute across the SI joint to help stabilize that joint. With the reverse lunge row, we want to attach a band around the chest to hip level. If you're using your door frame, it would be probably around where the door knob is. Then I'm going to grab my band, and my opposite arm is going to be working to my work leg. So the hand that's holding the band is going to be my work arm, and the stationary or forward leg is going to be my work leg. And then from here, I'm going to inhale to reach forward as I lunge back. At the bottom, I could also add a little bit of internal rotation. So I'm thinking this hip is moving towards this knee. So I'm thinking rotate the pelvis on top of the femur. This is going to bring more length to that working glute. And it's also going to add a little bit more emphasis of length to this working lat. And then from here, I'm going to exhale to row back as I extended this hip at the same time. So I'm looking for that co-contraction or activation across the posterior oblique sling. So in this position, my lat is shortened and activated. And in this position, my hip is extended and the glute is shortened and activated. So I would inhale to reach forward as I lunge back. I could think rotate towards that front leg and then exhale, row the band back. So this is what it looks like on the other side. So I would inhale to reach forward as I bring that hip towards that knee, more length here in that glute, and then exhale, pull as I stand up. If I wanted to advance this movement, I could hold a weight in the free hand. So I would hold a weight in this free hand. It's going to add some extra load for my legs. I would inhale to step back and then exhale to row as I extend in the hip at the same time. So inhale back, exhale to stand up. Another way that I could advance this movement is to add a knee press. So as I inhale to step back, I'm going to exhale to come up and then I'm going to lift the opposite knee and press into it with that free arm. So this is also gonna activate that anterior oblique sling from that adductor to that opposite oblique. So we're gonna have both the front sling and the back sling that are being activated. So inhale, step back, exhale, press hard into that knee as you row the band back at the same time. So that one's gonna involve a lot more coordination. Now if I needed to regress the movement, because let's say it's starting to cause some pain, I can do a split stance position. So with the split stance, the way that I'm gonna find my stance is at the bottom, my knee is gonna be stacked underneath my hip. So I would be able to lift my front leg and be fairly balanced. Then I would tuck that back toe, stand up, and this is my split stance stance. So I would inhale to lower down. If I wanted to add that rotation, I could. And then exhale to extend in my hip as I row back at the same time. Inhale down, exhale, row back. This is what it looks like on the other side. So I can find my stance, come up, inhale, down, exhale, row back, inhale, down, exhale, row back. So decreasing the movement can increase the stability of the movement and sometimes decrease the pain. If the asymmetrical stance was still causing pain, we can regress to a squat row, which is where the feet are gonna be even with one another. You can either use one band or you can use two. So I would inhale to lower down into my squat, and then exhale and extend to my hip as I row back at the same time. So inhale down, exhale to row back. If the squat was still causing pain, what I could do is I can do a box squat, so I could sit down to like a chair or to a box to decrease the range of motion of my squat. And I can also be focusing on pelvic positioning. So if I think about my two hip creases here, I wanna think of drive the left hip crease back just a little bit, and this usually brings the pelvis back into a more neutral position so it can better stabilize. So I would think drive this left hip crease back, then drop into my squat, exhale, stand up as I row back. So with the reverse lunge row, we want opposite sides to be working with one another. So my stationary leg and my moving arm are gonna be those opposite sides. So I would inhale to lower down, I think reach forward as I rotate towards that front leg. Both the lat and the glute are in a lengthened state. And then exhale, I want that simultaneous activation across the sling. So this glute is extended and shortened, and this lat is shortened in the row. Inhale to step back, exhale to row as I extend in the hip. If I wanted to advance the movement, I can hold a weight or I can do a knee press. If I needed to regress the movement, I can decrease overall movement by doing a split stance row, or I can even the stance by doing a squat row.